Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm at the Last Chance Campground, right outside McCall, Idaho. Well, I've been up two miles of a very good but very, very narrow road. Thank goodness I didn't meet myself. Hope they got a place for me. That's a narrow entrance. Woo. Maybe they got a spot. Only need one. Just need one. Looks like I got one. Could it be? Should I take it? I better take it. I'll walk up there and see if I find anything I like better. Ooh, that's, that's narrow. Good thing about it though, is I got a cell phone signal up here in the middle of nowhere. Maybe I'll get a little sun on my solar too right here. How are we doing for level? Pretty good. Perfect. What a ride. It's called Last Chance Campground. <laughs> Sounded like my kind of place I had, I had to go see. What do you think, Tucker? Man, you lost your mind. This is not the Pro Master. You're crazy. Well, I got my spot, but I thought I'd walk down in here, see if I found anything I like better before I paid. Look at the size of these pine trees. What do you think about that, Ashley Caldwell and Dewey Hubbard? My logging buddies back home. You can't have that one. <laughs> I hate cutting a tree. We cut our own firewood growing up. My daddy had this huge old bow saw. We cut wood for many years. I, I hated to see a, a pretty tree go down. But, uh, it's a pine tree. I'll cut it myself and laugh and smile when I do it. Useless tree. These are pretty. Looks like I might have done pretty good for a spot and these are taken anyway. I'm closer to the river than this. Bunch of tents back up in there. And this little bit of heaven. Hear the birds? I'm gonna sit real still so you can hear them. I think I did pretty good. I don't know how much this campsite is though. I guess whatever it is, whatever I'm paying. Now, you know me, I'm not one for campgrounds, but I don't know this area at all. Do what I gotta do. I'd rather boondock. These aren't terribly expensive and there's a lot of room in between. I just don't get the other campgrounds where you part you packed in like sardines is fifty dollars a night sixty you can't open your door without hitting somebody else's slide out i don't understand that watch that'll be exactly how i end up i turn into an old man let your slide in so i can open my door These darn whippersnappers. It's a sunny spot right there if you need solar. I see vault toilets and water. 
Please do not wash dishes, clean fish at water station. I gotta start fishing. Now my daddy had a windmill in his front yard, our front yard with a well under it. And on that windmill, he had a line that went down off the windmill, to turn the crank, and it made this long attachment go up and down. And he had it attached to one of these hand pumps. Electricity. I didn't expect that. I was really, really thirsty. Oh, there it goes. Who's this made by? Monitor. <laughs> Tastes like iron. Ooh. Rust. I don't guess it'd kill me. There's Miss Gypsy. Miss Gypsy. Boy, I just leveled up just perfect with her. Old Tucker sitting there looking for me. There's Dad. They're all up on the dash looking for me. Gosh, I dread coming back out. I hope I don't meet anybody in the road. Just met one little shuttle bus and just happened to be a wide spot. I was able to get by. Can't imagine meeting something like that. Old Ford truck. Still getting the job done, son. I've had Chevrolet trucks but I always worked Fords. Ten dollar. Da 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 da. Camp shop, Camp Post has horseshoes to loan. Bears can be dangerous. You think? Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm just outside of McCall, Idaho. Welcome to Last Chance Campground. I'm somewhere here. And I went and I walked this, but I didn't realize that it went up into here. But I, I like my spot, pretty close to Goose Creek. So, gotta give them my money. Oh, right here on the water. Kind of, sort of. You guys look at that. You guys see what I'm seeing? Take a picture, Kevin. Comes on around. Straight back into there. I got three bars of Verizon cell phone service. Got flowers to boot. I think I've held the camera more steady than that before.
I'm a little shaky today. The drive made me nervous. I have to count on that image stabilization <laughs> to get me through. I'm pretty level. I may I may put two under the back rears and drive up one on the tri-leveler to get just downright perfect. Not pulling in quite as much sun as I thought. All right, I get settled in, let these babies out. Yeah, you know, the levels said that I was pretty level when I pulled in, but I walked back to the bedroom and it felt like the passenger side was a little bit low. So, I'll give it a try. Just sitting down in the chair, it looked like I was on the money. The truth is, I'm one over. So yeah, one up on the tri-level or put me in the center. My wires and stuff fell out. It's kind of a bumpy ride coming in here. I say that got it. Man, you're awesome. I love that dog. It looks like my head's gonna be a little higher than what I want. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Looks like I have a visitor. I wonder if they'll let us film in. He must like the color. He's gone. Yeah, it was pretty good the way it was, but that made it perfect. We are at S3. Paid my fee. Put the tags on the post. Got the babies on the lead. Thought I'd walk further back here in the campground and see what I missed. This is new. I don't know what that is. Anybody know? Tucker quit sh shaking the flower. <laughs> How beautiful is that? Y'all are not making this easy. I don't care. You know, my whole life, I never gave a second thought to a flower. Here I am, sharing them with the whole world. You sharing me? Yeah, Tuck. You're out of focus. What happened to you? That flower's in focus, though, isn't it? Woo! How pretty. All right, let's get going. So the bears in here, we better watch out. Forgot my bear spray. Well, we went and walked the rest of the campground and I did good. I got the last spot by the river. Still a lot of open stuff back here that's not on the river. That's really, really nice. You can hear the water. Yeah, whenever you see the first good spot, you better take it. Then you go look for others and well y'all know how that works. There's there's something wrong with the trees here. As I was driving up, the further I got up in elevation, I'm about five thousand feet in elevation, I started seeing the top of the trees brown out. It's all over. It's everywhere. I mean, we had the same thing going on. Up in the Great Smoky Mountains, they said it was pollution, acid rain. Especially up there between Gatlinburg and Cherokee, you can see it from that lookout point. But all the top of the trees are brown. That cannot be a good thing. Cut these right here. And 
moved it over. You know, it had its day. Now it's gone and that little bitty pine will see some sunshine. But even with it being gone, it's still got a story to tell. The story's right here. I wonder how many rings that is. How long it's been here. How many snowstorms and rainstorms and fires it's endured. Any of you guys counting? So even in its death, it has something left to say. The story's still going on. Nice campground. Well, I'm enjoying my, uh, my visit here at the Last Chance Campground. But it wouldn't be a Camper Van Kevin video if we didn't go down to the river, right? So let's go down there and take a look before we end the video. got new neighbors the guy in the old Ford truck and that retro camper they've left it's the kind of truck my daddy had growing up we had a 72 Ford custom had a white top and a metallic green body long bed and it had a certain sound to it I could always tell when my daddy was coming home <laughs> I hear him coming for a long ways I don't think I can get down that way. Yeah, I've been enjoying the river. I got firewood, but haven't been using it. I have to work my way back in here. Yeah. I don't know. Just don't ever get tired of filming the water. break my full neck wonder if I can get closer for y'all not with the camera going I made it <laughs> wasn't graceful though I promise Somebody's moved the rock over there and made a pool to swim in. I saw the fish truck come in, deliver the trout. But I don't have a fishing license. But I'm gonna be quiet and let you guys listen.
Okay, well that makes another video. <laughs> I can't make a short video. That's all I can do. Too much to show and share with you. And I'm having fun doing it. But I'm going to end this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Hey, if you like my video, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe. All right, gotta go.